Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, March the 10th, 2017, and this is a live hangout, and I have with me Astronomy Live and Sean Hufford. Hi guys. How you doing? Okay, and in this hangout, we're going to be discussing the latest video and claims by Scott Cohn from the Nibiru Planet X 2016 channel. Uh, now, Scott has just uploaded a video statement, um, and if we can present that, uh, have you got control over that, Sean? I do. Give me just a second. Actually, I don't have control over um, pre presentation mode. Okay. Let me just pull that up, present all, present to everyone. No, it's not that. Um, you just presented Astronomy Live. Yeah, that's right. That. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. So, okay. so this is the uh, video that Scott uh, Cohn from Nibiru Planet X 2016 has just uploaded, and he's made a statement about the claims that has, have been made about him. And we're going to go through that video point by point and address some of those claims. We're also going to look at his criminal record, and we're also going to look at some screenshots of comments and threats that Scott Cohn has made to myself and others um, right from the start. And uh, it looks like uh, Scott has joined us in the chat, I see. So uh, this will be very interesting. So um, have you guys got anything to add before we start looking at the video? I'm just glad that Scott was willing to um, come into the chat. Right. Well, gonna have, I don't gonna know, have maybe we should good questions for him. Yeah, well, maybe uh, later on we can send him the link to the Hangout and uh, maybe hear what he has to say directly. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, play some of this video. We'll just play parts of it at a time and uh, comment on the content. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. This is Scott, rare appearance. How y'all doing? Listen, there's a huge smear campaign out there right now against me, Chris Potter, Steve Olson, Wayne Steiger. They're accusing me of being a child molester, a child abuser. They're accusing Wayne and Steve of stealing $100,000 and laundering it. I mean, that's the information that I received today. I damn okay, near laughed at my ass. None yeah. of it's yeah. true. Okay, first of all, there are some allegations that are out there, and we're going to back up some of those allegations, but uh, before we move on to that, I'm going to make it very clear that certainly I have not made any allegation that Scott uh, Cohn or Steve Olson or Wayne Steiger have stolen $100,000. I am aware of some other allegations, but... Um, this claim about a hundred thousand dollars i certainly have no knowledge of so yet again we see another lie from scott cone uh, being presented without any evidence to back up it's very easy to make a claim and that's what this hangout is all about is to present the facts to back up what we're saying also the so, point one another false claim um he sorry, says that it, Sean? another false claim that he's doing is he's saying that people are saying that he's accused of being a child molester to the best of my knowledge, nobody said that. Now, as far as child abuser, that's actually in his record. But molester, no. Right. I mean, I want to make it clear. I've never said he's a child molester, and I've been very careful about the terminology because I didn't want that to get confused. Now, I think that perhaps somebody else may have said that at, about him at some point, but that was none of us. So... Uh, that has nothing to do with us, and we've been careful about the language uh, to not get the two mixed up. Because as as you just said, Sean, we have you know evidence here that he has on his record child abuse. So we'll get into that a little bit later, I think. Now, yeah, absolutely. Now, the, the point is is that um, it is not defamation if the claim being made is a fact, right? And Correct. for this reason, we've been very careful about anything that we repeat to make sure that we've got our facts correct. And yeah, none of I, us I have claimed. W, I think WSL really needs to look up legal terminology. And yeah. if he has a legal team, 
they might need to go to their first year of, cl of school because yep. defamation requires false statements to be made. Right. Now, I see WSO has just made a comment saying that, and I need to scroll up, saying that implying that Scott is some kind of criminal, this is libel, cyberbullying, and evil. Well, no, it's not Steve Olson. It's actually the fact, and it's no different to reporting on the news when a criminal is convicted. The fact is, is that Scott Cohn is a criminal. He does have a criminal record, and he has even admitted that to me. Um, and that has already been published where he said that he is proud of his past. That is a fact, and we can prove that 100% from the emails and, in fact, the PDF that we're going to be looking at uh, in this Hangout as well. Should we be and looking like at that Hangout now, at that um, PDF now? Uh, well, I can... I don't, know about, I don't know about if we can release the PDF because that does show um, uniquely identifiable information. Astronomy Life has taken care of that. Yeah, oh, I, okay. I censored I censored off the addresses and the phone numbers off the first part of the PDF. It still has his email address, but uh, that can be found simply by searching for his Twitter. So I think we're good to show that um, yes. because it definitely links him uh, to the information shows. This is not just some random guy who happens to have his name. So, and that is correct, and before WSO decides to jump all over it, when somebody releases um, personal identifiable information about themselves, it is no longer protected by, by privacy. Right. So here it is, and like I said, I've censored off, deliberately censored off the phone numbers, the address, uh, but what we still see here are the email addresses, and if you look at this email address here, scottc1196 at yahoo.com, if you search for that, that screen name right there, You'll find his Twitter address with his picture boldly emblazoned on it. This is Scott Cohn, 49 years old, and uh, yeah. So this is the the opening of sort of the opening of the of the PDF file establishing who this is. Uh, and then I've got another screenshot. Let me pull that up. That shows some of the crimes uh, that he's got. Now I'm not going to pull up the whole PDF file because I don't want to accidentally share his phone number or his, his address, but um, I do want you know, and I should point out. I suppose it's it's worth mentioning at this point that uh, hypocritically he tried to show my address, my what he thought might be my workplace, and and uh, tried to dox me in a very deliberate way. But I'm trying to be careful here not to dox his address or his phone number. Let me just scroll through this one more time, make sure what I'm about to share doesn't have that information in it. Nope, it does not. So this is from the same PDF file a few pages down. It's a rather long file. He's got quite a long rap sheet to him. Uh, and so here is one case that he had in Florida for child neglect and or abuse, aggravated child abuse. And it gives the case number, uh, and you can look all this up. It's This is not just something in a PDF file. You can look this up with the state of Florida, with Miami-Dade County, and you will find this case. Uh, this, is, this is for real. This is not just uh, made-up information. Uh, and so you can see that there. Can you just go back to that charge there, Astronomy Live? Let's just get that. As we said, we have never said that he has molested a child. The description is neglecting a child or abusing a child causing injury, aggravated child abuse. Yep. So if, you know, for this to be liable, for this to be defamation, this would have to be false. And I'm sorry, it's not false. You can find a, find a whole bunch of information on him by looking at uh, the these case numbers in their relevant states. So you can go to Miami-Dade County, you can search for the court documents on this, and you can find all kinds of information about this particular case. It's all public knowledge. Uh, the same for some of his other cases in Pennsylvania, although I haven't looked in as, in as great an extent uh, into some of those. I was more interested in this one. But um, in doing that, I even accidentally came across his divorce records. Uh, which further linked it to this file because it shows his ex-wife's name uh, at the start of this uh, at the start of this PDF file, and it's the same name that you see in the divorce records from Miami-Dade County. And for the record, before you start claiming privacy about all this, these are a matter of public record. There is no privacy when it comes to criminals. Yep. So uh, I don't know what else you guys want me to screen share here at the moment. These are the three things I've got up. I don't know if we can go back to the video or I can okay, try to we'll just, 
just before we go back to the. Sorry, I, I was just going to say I can try to pull up the Miami Dade County link if you want. Uh, just oh, hold on, hold on. Steve Olson still going off about the cyberbullying thing. Let's nip this in the bud right now. Now, during one of your previous hangouts, when you guys all got together for your for your dream team, now what was it that you told Scott right at the beginning of that before you realized you were live? You told him make sure you don't threaten anybody because it's such a habit for him. The only person throwing out threats is Scott. Exactly. Um, just before we go back to the video, I've sent the uh, the link to mugshots in the uh, private uh, hangout uh, chat. Mm -hmm. um, Astronomy Life, can you pull up that link? We'll just take a quick look at that, please. Sure. Am I, am I good to share this whole link? I don't need to censor anything out of it, I'm guessing. I don't believe so. Okay. Okay, so scroll down and we'll take a look at the mugshot. This is the mugshot of Scott Cohn. You can see very clearly from the video that he just uploaded called Planet X, which he uh, talks about these uh, these claims that he makes about harassment and all the rest of it. You can see the details there. Scott Cohn, uh, if we scroll down further, uh, you can see that it uh, scars, marks, and tattoos there. It says right shoulder, skull left arm cross. Now, if you go to the photos on Scott Cohn's Facebook page, um, which I've already downloaded and saved, thank you, Scott Cohn, so it's too late to remove them now, um, we can see with Scott in his various poses showing off his tattoos um, that this is indeed him. There's no doubt about it. We can see it from his face anyway. Nice boiler suit. Okay. I'm sorry, what did you want me to do now? Okay, so maybe we can go back to the video and we'll address some more of that. Okay. All right, one second while I switch the audio to the video. And we're only 35 seconds in. <laughs> They're misusing my name. There's a lot of people out there throughout this country that have a very similar name as, as I do, I have all their mug shots and their backgrounds, but they don't look like me. They don't look like me one bit. The smear campaign is, it's kind of stupid, really stupid, but in all actuality, ladies and gentlemen, pay very close attention to one thing. Why would these scumbags go to this extent to discredit some guy on YouTube that's investigating some planetary objects. I mean, really, why would okay. they right, go let's, to let's, that let's stop it there. Such He asked a very valid question. Why are people going to these links to, to um, discredit him? One, we're not actually discrediting him. He's actually done that to himself. We're just bringing it to the public's attention. Two, we didn't go after you first. People make videos making claims. People make videos to debunk those claims. It's the circle of YouTube. You personally came out and started attacking everybody who debunked you. This is all on you, Scott. This is just saying, we're not going to put up with your threats. This is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just read a comment by WSL talking about gay bashing, and he's got his little buddy over there sitting there calling me a tranny. Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fail again, yeah. WSL. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah, go look in the mirror, dude. So you just admitted that your own little buddy threatens people. He um, gender discriminates people. He harasses people. And you've just admitted it. Thank you very much. You just proved our point. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> well done. <laughs> right. Now, the reason that, that we debunk the nonsense that we debunk and this goes right back to that very first hangout that we had with Scott Cohn when we invited him into a hangout with Astronomy Live and myself. He admitted himself that we were absolute gentlemen. Um, and during that discussion, during that hangout, we pointed out the damage that this sort of fear-mongering that he's putting out does to fragile and vulnerable people, even resulting in suicides in some case. Now. 
there's something I'm going to clarify here. I never once said that Scott Cohn, Nibiru Planet X, 2016, or Steve Olson were responsible for the death of the 16-year-old uh, uh, English schoolgirl who hanged herself. That was all to do with the lead-up of uh, 2012, December 21, 2012. But the fact is, is that this sort of fear-mongering causes suicide. And, and just to touch on something he just said, cyberbullying causes suicide. So does fear-mongering. Proven. Yep. Yep. And this is not cyberbullying. This is stating the truth, unlike what these fear mongers are doing. They are lying. As somebody made a comment the other day, is, is that uh, Scott Cohn could throw a dog turd in the air, take a photo of it, and make a video about Nibiru. I mean, that is just so true. Um, so this is the reason why we're doing it. We're not being paid to do it. We don't work for the government. We're not government shills or trolls or disinformation agents, we are debunking nonsense. We are debunking fear-mongering because we see the damage that it does. And this all started with me back in 2011 after the Christchurch earthquake, which killed nearly 200 people. We had a guy here in New Zealand by the name of Ken Ring who was fear-mongering about a major earthquake happening on the supermoon, and that is where my debunking work started, and everything was a flow-on from there. Huh. Constant right, what have we got? Is illegal and foul and please stop. Should, should <laughs> we show what kind of treatment that Scott gives to everybody else? Yeah, by all means. Yep, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. All right. So I'll um, just present I'm... your screen there, um, Sean. And I believe you know the history better than this than I do. I was just given these. Yep, uh, that's still coming up. I'm not seeing your screen. I've gone present to everyone. Uh, let me restart the share. It's still on Astronomy Live screen, I believe. Uh, what have we got on the screen at the moment, anyway, while we sort that out? Um, those two messages to somebody, I think it was to um, Logan, Logan, I believe. Yeah, yeah, but the what we've got up on the screen at the moment, what's, what's that? Haven't so this, that is, this is the Miami-Dade County Criminal Justice Online System. This is the actual website for Miami-Dade County uh, Clerk of the Courts. Uh, to look up the case information. So this is not from a PDF from a background check website. This is the actual case information direct from Miami-Dade County. And this is for uh, the child abuse case. We see child abuse, no harm, felony, uh, convicted. Uh, he was given a year of probation. Uh, the charges included probation violations, battery charge, uh, and uh, child abuse. And so Here's all the information about this trial. There's all these events. Every little thing that happened with this trial is documented, dating back to 2001. And uh, it currently has gone to collections for whatever fines they gave him. Uh, it's currently with the collections agency. So that's why it says up here at the top, the, state, the case is in collection agency status and not available to be paid online for further information, yada, yada, yada. So this is his information. You can see his date of birth here, uh, January 30th, 1968. Uh, that makes him 49 years old, which happens to be the same age that we see uh, in the PDF file, 49 years old. So this is him. If we go back here to uh, Miami-Dade for a moment, we can see also known as Scott Allen Cohn, also known as, uh, they have his name spelled, his middle name spelled a few different ways, but notice he was born in 1968 in all these cases, um, and this is definitely him. Right. Now, I'm just trying to get uh, your screen uh, presenting, Sean. Um, it says I'm presenting already. Um, maybe Scott needs to... Maybe I need I to know. stop presenting? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Let me turn that off. Okay. that help out? Okay. We've still got um, 
Still got video from Astronomy Live rather than your screen. Um, stop presenting me and then let me reshare again. Okay, I'm seeing you now. No. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So you got them up now? Yep. Yep. And I'm not sure what kind of resolution you're getting over the stream. Yeah, it's probably pretty fuzzy. Um, if, if the resolution is too poor to be able to read those, later on when this video is uploaded, you'll be able to read them in full quality. So apologies for that, but that's just the way that the Hangout works. Um, now, these are screenshots of two emails that were sent to Logan Runnan. Um, the first one at the top, are you able to send to that one? For yeah. me. I'll even zoom in. Okay. Oh, Thank that's you. much better. All right. So this is an email that Scott uh, Cohn sent to Logan Runnan, and he says we need to get together and expose these scum-sucking people like David Gregg, aka Dazza the camera fag. We can do our own Google Hangout video just like they do, but I have a much broader platform and I can reach 100,000 people instantly. Forget about WTF Sky, the real scum is David Gregg and Rene Padilla. These scum bags work directly for government contractors and I have uncovered this a while ago and that's why they're trying to target me. This story is way bigger than Lisa Olson and Steve Olson. This is about hiding the truth from the world population. Trust me, I will give you a huge platform to speak your mind and many people will hear you. Don't expose my email in your videos, which I absolutely love, by the way. You can read the email to your viewers, but don't show them where it came from. I'll gladly work with you trashing these scumbags. If you'd like to contact me by phone, I'll leave you my cell number, which we've redacted. Call whenever you want. Block your number if you want, but we need to talk ASAP. I'm up now if you want to talk. Scott C. Now, I haven't seen the reply that Logan sent back to... Uh, Scott Cohn, but obviously it didn't go well because if we take a look at the next screenshot This is a reply from Scott Cohn to Logan Runnan saying since you have continued to fuck with me I'm going to turn the tables upside down on you and you can go ahead and show everyone this email because I have so much information on you and the information and the videos are fucking hilarious. Please excuse my language, I'm just repeating what I'm reading here. You think you're circulating a false background check on an individual with a similar name as proof of child abuse and child molestation and running from the law when in fact the only person that runs from the wall is your big fat pussy who hides in the bathroom after beating up children in your neighborhood. Now my comment here, as of the cameraman, is that that situation is completely taken out of context. It is a false accusation against Logan Runnan. Now I'll continue. I've already contacted your local police department. They know exactly who you are. They know exactly where you live. They told me all I have to do is fax over a signed affidavit of harassment and they will arrest you. You may not be in jail very long. However, I'm sure the inconvenience will upset your day. And if you continue to fuck with me, I'm going to simply pay you a fucking visit personally and we'll see how much of a man you really are when you have to stand in front of me face to face. I'm not afraid of anything, fuck boy. Let me repeat that I am not afraid of anything, including you, because you're nothing but a fucking pussy. You hide behind a computer and a cell phone and you don't even have your own Wi-Fi. You have to use hotspots stealing your neighbor's Wi-Fi like a fucking pussy. Dark Skywatcher already filled me in on your bullshit and I know exactly how to get to you. I think it's time for someone to seriously put you out of business. I currently have a video in production as we speak and it is all of your videos of you crying like a baby, hiding in the bathroom, freaking out, pulling out your hair like a total fool and I will be publishing this on all three of my YouTube channels and my Planet X Facebook page as well as my Planet X website. I also paid the $35 to have a background check conducted on you and your piece of shit family and you all have criminal records. You try to insinuate that I abuse children when in fact you are the one who beat up neighborhood kids and ran from the cops like the pussy you are. 
when the day comes and I meet you face to face, don't try running because it's, that's not going to work. So you have one of two choices, fuck face. You can either shut your fucking mouth and stop harassing me, or you can use your imagination and continue looking over your fucking shoulder each and every minute of the day when you walk out of that dump you live in, end quote. Now, just to address some of the allegations that Scott Cohn made against Logan running there, if those allegations were true, then Logan would have been arrested and charged by the police. I know the situation that unfolded regarding those neighbourhood children, and the picture that is painted in this comment is certainly not, not what happened. Uh, over to you guys. Yeah, that's so, pretty clear-cut um, harassment, threatening. And everything that Steve Olson says is bad. So why is he not deriding Scott for doing all this? <laughs> There's a double standard. Just a little. Just a little double standard. Uh, I don't know if my screen's sharing here, but um, I've got the bench warrant that's out for uh, Scott Allen Cohn up here. And uh, it's active. In fact, you can see that this report was generated at 4 p.m. today. And it's still an active warrant out for his arrest in Pennsylvania uh, relating to a parole violation in relation to his DUI charge and uh, failed to appear before a hearing. So he's, he's in trouble with the law right now. And if he had any contact with any law enforcement officer right now, even if that contact were completely innocent in nature, let's say he was sitting at home and he got uh, a noise complaint because he had his stereo turned up too loud. If the police come over and they see his ID, they're going to haul him off to, to jail because he's got a warrant out for his arrest. So if he gets pulled over for any reason, if he has any contact with law enforcement, he's going to jail and he's going to have to uh, deal with this situation, which is currently outstanding. Uh, so yeah, he is uh, got a warrant out for his arrest, which is probably why I'm not expecting to hear a knock at my door from him because if I call the police and ask them to cart him off, they definitely will. I don't need to have a uh, uh, any kind of... Um, uh, uh, restraint, restraining order or anything like that. He's got a warrant out for his arrest. So I don't think he wants anyone who knows that. Uh, I, I don't think he wants to try to confront anyone who has that information. So right. I don't think, I don't think he's going to try to confront Logan. I certainly don't think he's going to try to confront me because we're all aware of this. And I think that's, what's got him spooked right now. Right. Now, this also makes a nonsense out of his claim that his car was, uh, or that an attempt was made on his car to pipe bomb it, and that a couple of guys were apprehended and that they were arrested by the police and, and that there was this case, which nobody can find any record of. There's no public record of this this claim of his, that his car was, was to be pipe bombed. And this whole business, this um, this bench warrant for his arrest, makes a nonsense of that story once again because if he had had any contact with the police whatsoever they would have arrested him yeah yeah no, no, and, live. <laughs> and like sarah says they're not going to go to his house for a bench warrant they're not going to like it's not the kind of warrant where you do a search of a house and is he here is he here you know they're not going to do that kind of thing but if he has any contact with the police for any reason whether it's getting pulled over because he was speeding whether it's you know, because somebody called on him because he was, you know, being loud or something. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Uh, he gets to go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. All right. Okay. They Shall we move on? on their channel. What was that, Sean? They just went live a half hour early. <laughs> yep. You know, well, no surprises there. Okay. Should we go back to the video and play some more? Uh, sure. Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to switch the audio to the video. Such huge smear campaigns. You know damn well, because we are all on to something. We continue to research and investigate all of this that revolves around Planet X, the Brown Dwarf Star, Nibiru, whatever you want to call it, Nemesis. Lens flares. We Lens know flares. something's up. I've been at this 13 years. I've only been on YouTube now since the end of July. 
we have 50,000 subscribers on this channel that are here for them <laughs> because they're seeking this information. They're part of this investigation. I'm not going to let any of you down. I'm a fighter. I'm not a coward. And see, whenever these trolls came after me the first time, they thought that they were playing around with some bozo. <laughs> Think again, punk ass, because I'm not a I'm not a bozo. I'm a right, fighter. I'm not say. a coward. Right. So let's just go back on the history of that. Back on the 13th of October 2016, Astronomy Live and I did a hangout where we discussed the video by Scott Cohn of Nibiru Planet X 2016 uh, was titled something about Planet Enoch passing in front of the sun, which of course was the moon seen in the field of view of one of the stereo spacecraft as as the stereo spacecraft was heading away from the Earth, heading towards its orbit around the Sun. Now, we addressed the claims in that. Uh, it was not an attack. It was a debunking video. Uh, we weren't bullying or anything like that. We were simply stating the facts. Scott Cohn contacted me directly, and as a result of that, uh, Scott and I had a private Skype conversation, and I thought that he was very sincere, and I invited him to come back and to present his side of the case in a live hangout, which we did the very next day. In Astronomy Live, uh, and I and Scott Cohn uh, had this hangout, and as I mentioned earlier, Scott Cohn, uh, he seemed to be very sincere, and he even said that we were all gentlemen, uh, and everyone seemed to go away um, feeling very happy about the way that the hangout went. So there was no bullying or picking on him or anything like that. I gave him the opportunity to tell his side of the story, which he did. He even took down the Planet Enoch video as a result of the Hangout. He subsequently re-uploaded it. Okay. But it was only after that Hangout that Scott Cohn actually turned on us. He turned on Astronomy Live in particular. As I've said before in previous Hangouts, he sent me a torrent of messages on Facebook accusing Astronomy Live of being a fraud and a fake, and he claimed that he had contacted two professors of astronomy uh, at the Pittsburgh University, and that these uh, professors had sent him a 13-page PDF document debunking everything that Astronomy Live had to say, and that they were going to come on a hangout, and that Astronomy Live would have to shut down his channel and be completely discredited and blah, blah, blah. And of course, Scott Cohn had to admit that he was trying to call my bluff. He subsequently admitted that he was outright lying, as he does. Uh, he had not been in contact with these two professors of astronomy from the Pittsburgh University. How do I know that? Because I contacted them directly and I have the emails which I presented before. They came back and said, no, we don't know this man. We've had no contact with him. So once again, as usual, Scott Cohn was lying through his teeth. So, you know, he talks about these trolls and so on, uh, targeting him and all the rest of it, but that's just not the way that it unfolded. Guys? Not a bit. I mean, he's just lying through his teeth at everything he says. I mean, I've, I've shown that. You've shown that. Astronomy Live has shown that. Many, many others have shown that, and he just keeps on pressing forward saying that, oh, his evidence is just, they're, they're just wrong. So, Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. We've, we, we won't get too bogged down in the technical detail. Astronomy Live has previously presented these images that we're seeing on screen now, showing the moon passing through in front of the sun, as seen from the stereo spacecraft. For further detail, you can go to Astronomy Live's channel and check out those previous videos and uh, also the Hangouts that we've done. I've got a playlist on my channel, Nibiru Planet X 2016 Debunk. Do you have some quick comments that you want to make on that Astronomy Live? Well, I, I just wanted to have that as sort of illustration going into the background since you were talking about it. Like, like you said, I don't want to get bogged down in, in it either, but you know, this, this is all you know, verifiable independently of NASA. The images you're seeing here come from ORSA, which is a uh, a high quality uh, solar system integrator that calculates trajectories and orbits based on uh, the gravitational attraction of the planets and the moon on the spacecraft. And you can see it matches up exactly with what the spacecraft saw. So it, the moon was supposed to be exactly where that object was seen in those images. And so 
Occam's razor says that's probably the moon then. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, right? So regardless of how many people follow his channel, regardless of how many people follow my channel, these are the facts and anyone can verify them for themselves. You can go run the, these integrations for yourself. You don't have to trust NASA on this. The software is freely available. So please check out my video if you want you know, all the links and uh, see for yourself. But uh, we can go back to his video now whenever you're ready. Yeah, and um, of course I independently verified uh, what you're saying as well by using the NASA Eyes simulator, uh, which showed that it was indeed the moon that was passing in front of the field of view. Okay, so yeah, let's, yep, yep. Another comment there. Right. Astronomy live. No, no. I was just going to say. I mean, you're exactly right. So you know, whether whether you're relying on NASA or not, they all converge on one solution, which is that it's the moon passing through uh, the yeah. field of view. It absolutely was the moon. It absolutely wasn't planet Enoch or any other planetary object, as Scott Cohn likes to call them. Um, we were not bullying. We were simply presenting the facts. We were presenting the truth. And if people are really truth seekers, then they should have nothing to fear with the truth. That is what we're presenting. We're not inventing stories. We're not lying. We're simply presenting the truth. Okay. Let's play some more of the video. Okay. All right. One second. I'm switching audio. I'm going to stick up for every single one of my subscribers. You're going to have to put a bullet in my head. Put me six feet under to shut me up. Weirdo, Logan Runnin, he's running around. I think that's why I got his stupid name, Logan Runnin. He's making all these stupid, stupid videos. He's being dangled around like a freaking puppet by Dazza the cameraman. Who's nothing but a fake. Nothing right, but a fake. Was that? He's been doing this. Okay, so we looked at those screenshots of the emails that Scott Cohn sent Logan running earlier. You can see that uh, Scott tried to get Logan to work with him to try and uh, discredit me, um, but obviously it didn't go well for Scott Cohn, and uh, we saw his response earlier to Logan running when uh, Logan wouldn't cooperate with him. And uh, as we saw, that was certainly not a very pretty response from Scott Cohn. Let's uh, continue. Okay, sorry, one second. Crap for years, ruining people's lives, trying to debunk all of their investigations into UFOs or Planet X or the people that think the earth is flat. Well, who in the <laughs> hell is he? Let's pause that. Right. Well, people are interested in the truth, are they not? People claim to be truth seekers. And that's what this is all about. This is what debunking is all about, is getting to the truth. I certainly don't like being lied to. And most people I know don't like being lied to. There's a big difference between entertainment and fear-mongering, okay? We can watch a movie on TV such as Deep Impact or something like that, and we know that it's just a movie. But when these guys get on YouTube and start saying that there is a brown dwarf passing through our solar system and it's going to cause all sorts of catastrophes for the Earth and that they're already starting and all the rest of it, there are people who are vulnerable, fragile people People I deal with on a regular daily basis in, in uh, comments on my um, Facebook page, Voices of Reason to Explain X, also uh, over on the Cosmo Cosmophobia Facebook page. I also get private uh, emails, and I'm sure Astronomy Live does too. Um, people who are freaking out, even last night I was dealing with somebody who was seriously... Um, anxious about claims that he had had read and seen in, in videos online and this is why we do what we do people are interested in the truth they want to know what is the truth and what isn't are these claims being made in these YouTube videos truth or not and that is what debunking is all about and I have no shame in what I do in debunking 
these fear mongers and liars and hoaxes like Scott Cohn from Nibiru Planet X 2016 and Steve Olson and Wayne Steiger who sit there laughing their heads off even in their videos their subscribers can hear them laughing their heads off when they're talking about you know the catastrophes that might happen these guys are laughing all right they're laughing all the way to the bank guys well i'm i'm actually just kind of paying attention to the chat over at his hangout that he's doing right now to do damage control and he's actually holding true to his word so far that he's not going to mute anybody which is very very surprising but yet they're totally ignoring the chat at least you know the debunker side of it <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually curious what his excuse is going to be for all this because, I mean, as we've seen tonight, he has quite a criminal record, and this is all verifiable information. And I'm sure he's going to try to dis distance himself from it and say it's somebody else who happens to have his name, uh, is the same age as him, and happened to live in Miami, Florida, uh, just as he did. So I'd... Sorry, go ahead, Sean. No, I'm sorry. That was just my mic picking up stupid stuff. Okay. And happens so, to have the same tattoos as well by the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I'm sure he's going to try to distance himself from that. And honestly, my impression is that from this video that we're watching right now, underneath his tough exterior, he's scared. He's spooked. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into this. But from my my impression of it, he's got this slight quiver to his voice where he's concerned about what might happen to him now that these skeletons are falling out of his closet. And I guess if I were in his shoes, I'd probably feel the same way. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, uh, it, it, it's sort of like a wounded dog or a wounded animal is, is at its most dangerous when it's wounded because it's got, you know, it's got no. its survival instincts kicked in. The, the problem is with the whole wounded dog analogy is the dog shouldn't have poked the bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you know the right. internet. The internet is a very unforgiving place, and if you're going to go around and be a scumbag, the internet is going to bite back. You know, and you know that's he, exactly what's happened to you, Scott Cohn, is that the internet has bitten back, and you're getting bitten hard. He's, you know, he's tried to uh, dox me. He's tried to dox you, Daza. He's tried to dig into everyone's personal life, go after employers, try to get people fired. He's tried to do everything he can think of to ruin people in the deepest, yeah. darkest ways possible. And so for him to suddenly be upset about us exposing the truth of his criminal history, which he previously said in the comment to you, Daza, he was proud of it. And I hope we can yeah. get that screenshot up because that's a that's a doozy right there. Yeah. He says does, he was proud of it. Does anyone have that screenshot at, at hand uh, that we can pull up? Sean, you might be better equipped to... To share that than I than I am. My, my photo viewer doesn't seem to work well with Google Hangouts, but um, uh, you know he claims to be proud of his criminal history, and you know, oh, I'm a tough guy. I punched a guy in the nose and broke his nose and went to jail for it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna own up to that and all the other things I did. You know, I forget the exact quote. I'm paraphrasing here, but you know, he he puts up this tough guy front, but I think underneath he's worried about the other crimes he's done that he doesn't want people knowing about. Okay, well, I, I can't screen share it at the moment, but what I can do is read it directly from the email. And just to give the background, what happened was uh, I sent him, we had a bit of an exchange. He, he sent me, um, without any provocation whatsoever, he sent me a, an email that simply said tranny. And there was a link to, looks like a hangout. He was referring to the, the hangout with uh, Sean Hufford and Red's Rhetoric. And he was making allegations that Sean Hufford was a transsexual. So in response, I sent the mugshot photo that we looked at earlier and just said, nice photo. That's all I said. And in response, Scott Cohn came back and said, ha 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 ha. I love that pic. This is all in capitals, by the way. I love that pic. Assault charge for fucking some asshole up and breaking their nose so bad, dot, 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 they needed surgery, dot, dot, dot. Too bad you don't live in the States, exclamation mark. I actually thought the photograph was so funny and fucked up, but I actually used it as my Facebook profile for a week period. I'm not ashamed of anything I've done in the past. I've been in jail many times. 
yes, I have a criminal record and I don't give a fuck. I'm one mean, bad motherfucker and people know it. But like I've said before, you're spineless and you're a cunt who sits behind a computer. You're not even a man, you're not even half of a man, you broken down piece of shit. End quote. And once again, I apologize for my language, but I'm simply reading what Scott Cohn said to me in his email. I do not normally use that sort of language, as everyone knows. And along with that email, he sent a photo attachment, uh, which was a photograph of a toilet bowl with a big turd in it. And it says, Astronomy Live going down the drain. And so there we go. I, I apologize. I had a phone call, so I missed the part where you were talking about me. <laughs> but yeah, the... the now, on my video, we've, we've actually covered this in a Hangout, my video that actually proves Scott's lying about a lot of things, um, he left a comment saying that a subscriber of his that knows me personally gave him two photographs. Well, he gave one of those photographs to Daza, and it just so happened that he ripped that off of a screenshot of one of my videos that's actually on my channel, where he also left the same comment. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So he went to that video, and, pulled the picture, and then tried to say it was one of his subscribers that gave it to him. Yeah, to and you say. actually predicted that, that it came from that hangout, and he, it, it turns out that that was confirmed. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the a hangout that, that he watched and commented on, yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is not the first time he's used this sort of excuse. It's always, well, someone gave this to me is his excuse when he's caught with his pants down on something. Just like when I, you know, caught him with his pants down during our debate and showed that he was stealing photos from Siri Runyon. And, well, you know, the default go-to excuse is, well, you're just using your weird techniques and maybe you're manipulating them. But I was just given these photos. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't go and get, grab these myself. I, you know, this was all just uh, set up. I'm being set up. And that was his, his rallying cry after the debate was, they set me up. They set me up. No one set him up. He w immediately ran out, took down the video that had the stolen photo and then cropped the video or stopped the video, chopped it short right before showing that photo. But he continued to, uh, he re-uploaded the video where it continued to show all the other photos that claimed to be from the same source. So if he was being set up and somebody was just pranking him by giving him stolen footage and, vid and videos and photos, why did he just immediately go back behind standing behind that, uh, that, that set up footage and continue to claim that these came from a 70-year-old retired astronomer in Chile uh, when I had just exposed that these photos actually came from Siri Runyon on Facebook and showed a lens flare next to Venus. If he was actually being set up, he would have left that video down and, if anything, put up a different video saying, these guys set me up, they sent me all this stuff and they claimed it was real and it was actually just a setup and I was being pranked. No, instead he went right back behind, standing behind it and claiming it's the truth. Uh, the only thing he did was remove the particular photo I, I exposed, but he put up all the other footage. So no, he wasn't being set up. This is just him making excuses when he's caught lying. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a serial liar. That's all he is. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious what they're doing on their Hangout right now. I guess they're still in damage control mode about us. Oh, big time. Even, even their subscribers are complaining that they're not talking about Planet X. They're just talking about trolls. Yeah. Okay, shall we play some more of the video? Okay, yep, one second. Made him the ambassador. <laughs> Give me a break. <coughs> the guy doesn't even work. He sits at home, jerking off, you know, waiting for a notification on one of these channels to upload a video so he can attack them. Oh, make up stories and uh this guy does the cameraman he's well funded we found that out we found that out through people that he's had run-ins with well listen here dave i'm okay, not gonna stop. take your shit buddy okay he says that he found out through people you've had run-ins with now these are people that you've debunked and they made claims that you're government funded and whatever else but they supply no evidence. So Scott here is demonstrating that he's just taking people's word for it because it agrees with his narrative. He's not doing any research of his own. He's not providing any evidence. He's just making allegations. Absolutely. And, you know, as I've covered in previous videos, yes, I'm not working, 
I have a, a health condition, which I've, I've covered before. I suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome, and I have to rest frequently. And in fact, the last week has been really bad for me because I have been way too busy for the amount of energy that I don't have. And I'm going to pay for this later because I should be napping right now, but I'm running on adrenaline at the moment. I had a very bad night last night because I've been trying to do too much during the day. And uh, normally I'm able to stay up all evening, but I spent most of last evening on my bed feeling absolutely exhausted. So it's absolutely true. No, I'm not working. And yes, I am on welfare. And for people who want to attack me and criticize me, I can tell you that, yes, the income that I do receive from monetizing my videos is declared. Okay? Every time I receive a payment from uh, Google AdSense, that income is declared because I would be a fool not to declare it. Otherwise, I would get myself into a whole world of trouble if I didn't. Okay? So I'm just doing the best that I can. Yes, I have a health condition. I'm not going to turn my brain off and just stop living life as best I can. I have things that interest me, and astronomy and science and debunking is one of those things. And uh, I'm going to keep using my brain as much as I can, and this is part of what I do, even though it does actually have a cost uh, to me as far as exhaustion and, and all the rest of it. But, uh, you know, I receive a lot of support from my subscribers, people in the comments and so on. And uh, even though there's times when I think, you know, why do I bother? Well, the messages that I get from my subscribers and people who are extremely fearful that Nibiru Planet X is coming through the, the solar system or, or whatever, um, they are very relieved to see the, the debunking work that I and others like Astronomy Live do to, to uh, allay those fears that they have. So that's one thing that keeps me motivated to carry on. It's very easy, isn't it, Sean, to uh, to criticise uh, and attack somebody's weaknesses, such as a medical condition, just as he did with you. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, he attacked my medical condition. He has not even tried to address the actual content of the video. He just made ad hominem, ad hominems, and that's all yeah. he's got. And that's because he can't come up with any kind of defence for being caught lying. Do you, yeah, are, it's like, are you happy to detail some more of the what what he said about you and this? Because not everybody will be aware of that. Okay, well, first let's start off with, I've been diagnosed with gynecomastia for three years. And what that is, it's a hormone imbalance. It's I'm producing estrogen at an alarming rate. I'm not producing enough um, DHT, which is like testosterone on steroids. Everybody has it. It's um, It does a whole lot for the body, and I'm no longer producing that. Well, at the end result of that is I have breasts. Well, Scott thinks that this is some big secret that I've had. And in my very first hangout with Reg Rhetoric, I made sure I made this announce because I knew at some point I would be on camera and I wouldn't be able to hide it. Just to prevent somebody like Scott from using that against me. This isn't something I have control over. It's not something I made a choice over. It's just something that happened. It's actually caused by a scar on my pituitary gland. I can't have it fixed. Well... After I debunked Scott and shown that he was lying, he went through my video history and found a video where I was debunking a flat earther on camera. A, actually, almost a year ago. Well, he took a couple screenshots of that and then made, started making comments that he's got pictures of me proving that I'm a tranny, I'm a woman with really small arms, and just doing saying vile, vile stuff that wasn't true. So I actually replied to that comment in a polite way, explaining to him what my condition was. Then, about an hour later, he came to your channel and started, um, he actually went to Astronomy Live's channel, and started posting stuff in the same tone, you know, that I'm, I'm doing special sexual favors for Astronomy Live because I'm a tranny, I'm just a, I'm just a chicken man's clothing, and just being really, really rude. I mean, this is all he's got. He can't actually defend stuff when he gets caught, so he just attacks people. Yeah. Now, you also made a point uh, previously is, is that uh, if, if, if those breasts were removed, what effect would that have on you, Sean? Okay. If they can't stop estrogen production, um, the only thing in a male body that can actually use estrogen is mammary glands. Everybody's born with them. DHT prevents them from growing. 
they require estrogen to grow. Since I'm not making DHT anymore, there's nothing to prevent them from growing. Since I'm producing estrogen, they are encouraged to grow. They can't fix what's causing my um, estrogen problem, which is the scar on my pituitary gland. They, they would actually literally have to cut my pituitary gland out, which would kill me anyway. If they cut the mammary glands off, which is a, a mastectomy, um, I will have nothing left in my body that actually uses estrogen. So I have all this free floating estrogen in my system and that will just wreak havoc on internal organs. They, people that have mammary glands removed that don't stop producing estrogen, they usually die between six months to a year. So my choice is either live with them or die. And he's not understanding that. So I've had right. to be, so, I was forced to accept the whole condition and just move on with my life. Right. So I, you know, th this is just completely despicable as far as I'm concerned. He is, he is uh, attacking a person. He's actually victimizing you based on a medical condition that you have absolutely no control over. Which by the way, and, harassment over a medical condition is actually a federal offense. Right. Now, of course, every male has nipples, okay? So you're talking about mammary glands. We, every, every, every male, male has... Every male yeah. has all that's there that's needed to have them grow. They just don't have the proper hormone balance to make them grow. Right. So this is something that has happened because of a, a scar on your pituitary gland that you have absolutely no control over, and he is victimizing you over that. That is Correct. despicable. And it just Correct. shows the piece of low life scum that he is. And the you know the first insult I could actually understand because that's like a knee jerk reaction. But he was informed what it was, and then he continued on. At that point, it became harassment. Yeah. And we happen to, you know, have I've been informed anyway that he was in a phone conversation with some someone earlier today, and his excuse for continuing to persist in harassing you about this and not publicly apologizing is that you work with Red's rhetoric and Red is mean. So therefore, uh, fuck you. And oh, I'm okay. Just... Okay. Okay. What else was said in that call about you specifically? Uh, oh yeah. He would apologize to me except for the fact that he's afraid he'd get made fun of if he publicly apologized to me. Okay, Scott, since we know that you're going to watch this, let's explain something to you right now. Red didn't get involved until you attacked me. That's as far as me working with Red goes. He held the hangout because he was defending a friend. He yeah. had nothing to do with debunking you. However, Astronomy Live, when he did his SpaceX video, was working with Red. I was literally right next to him. Physically, you have, right next you to have him. your little excuse for not apologizing for being a total douchebag completely backwards. I mean, I just uploaded a video, when was it, last night, night before last, of additional footage of the SpaceX launch and landing that I was at, and half that video is filmed by Red, uh, part of it from the GoPro that was literally on his head, and you can see me fist bumping him. So, I, you know, we were there together at the launch and landing, filming it together. So this whole notion that he's treating you one way and he's treating me differently because of Red's rhetoric makes absolutely no sense. It's, it's just him doing his standard cover my ass mode. Yeah. Sorry, Daza. <laughs> okay, should we carry on? Yeah. Yep. You know, you may be in another country, maybe you're not, who knows. But you're never going to be man enough to stand up to me face to face because you're going to get Ooh. knocked on your ass. Is that a threat? That, a threat? that sure sounded like a threat to me. Um, I wonder if this might be a good time to pull up the screenshots of the uh, the threat messages that he had sent to me previously. And these go way back. Do you have those, Sean? I only had the two that we showed earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see if I can... Uh, okay, there was a zip... There was a zip file that I sent through earlier in the in our Skype call. Uh, you should be able to find them in there. Okay. Hang on. Let you me know, just right see. from the start, 
just while you're looking for that, um, right from the start, I can say from the, from the earliest times, um, really after that hangout that that uh, that we did that didn't go well for uh, for Scott Cohn, I think that what happened was after we did that that hangout together, which all went very well. At the end of it, he must have thought to himself, "Oh heck, now what am I going to do? I've been debunked. You know, my whole fear mongering has been debunked. This is my income stream. What am I going to do now?" And he was in a rage. So he turned on Astronomy Live and he invented the story about being in contact with these two professors of astronomy and this 13 page PDF which never existed and how Astronomy Live was a fraud and a fake and he was going to be debunked and all the rest of it. He must have been in an absolute rage. He must have been beside himself thinking, what am I going to do now? My fear mongering has been debunked. That's, that's the only thing that I can think of. Have we got some... Um, all right, give me a few Miley. more seconds here. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, all he could really do was to go on the attack. And that's exactly what he did. We've seen him consistently lying. I've always said you can always tell when Scott Cohn is lying because his lips are moving. And it, it seems that every time he presents a story, it's, it's completely manufactured. Even this whole story about his car being pipe bombed. There's no public record of that, and it turns out that if, if he had been in contact with the police, they would have arrested him because of the bench warrant that's out for his arrest. Yeah. Oh, it's not, hang on, it's not, uh, I can't seem to get uh, WinRAR here to extract properly. Give me a, give me a few more seconds. Sorry, Dazza. It's okay. So, you know, really, Scott Cohn, you've, you've brought all of this unpleasantness on yourself. We welcomed you into that hangout at the start. We looked at the, the evidence. Um, we agreed that it was not planet Enoch, as you had claimed, but it was, in fact, the moon that was passing in front of the stereo ahead spacecraft. You had some questions because you, you were a little bit confused. You seemed to think that we were saying that the moon was in orbit around the sun, which we never said, of course was just that the moon was in the field of view of the stereo ahead spacecraft as it left the Earth orbit, okay? Um, but we were respectful to you. You said yourself that we acted like gentlemen in the way that we hosted you. And uh, you've brought all of this unpleasantness on yourself through your lies and your threats and your abuse. And I see that we've got some, um, some screenshots up there. So, yeah, sorry. Uh, let's, let's take a look at those. Do you have a do you, do you know having to know which uh, uh, which file specifically you're looking for? Um, just start off with P001, and we'll start from there. Okay. Okay. So here is just a little selection of the comments that have been made by Scott Cohn from Nibiru Planet X 2016. And by the way, yes, I did verify that this that these comments were indeed from him and not a fake cloned account. I did that by hovering on the blue link, Nibiru Planet X 2016, which took me to his channel with all of his videos and showed me how many subscribers he's got and all the rest of it. So you can see there, um, by the way, the date stamp on that is now well out of date. Uh, these were taken months ago. You are a devil worshipping scumbag and your videos don't prove shit, he says. Good debunking, your bullshit proves nothing. Like always, keep up the good work. Uh, keep up the good working murderer. You are no help to humanity. You're prom promoting genocide, he says. Next. Will your arrows step through those astronomy life? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, this is I'm having to do this on a website because my, uh, my my photo okay. sharing thing doesn't right. work. So I so here is a reply to Raven Duckstein, and you can see that Scott replied to her, you're a cunt. And again, my apologies for the language, but this is what we're reading. Here, I think I might be able to step through it this way. Here we go. Okay. Um, my numbers are up, up, dipshit. You think you're smart, LOL. Your emails were already traced. Tell your ex-wife I said, how did it taste, honey? I bet you really miss the only piece of ass you've ever had. She was an ugly fuck, LOL. You, and so are you, bro. What happened to your teeth? 
LMFAO. Next comment, hey Padildo, do you want me to lend you the money for some new teeth, LMFAO? Uh, how come your wife left your ass? I heard she's on some black dude. You must be upset, poor baby, LOL. Uh, and he tags Bill Pittman and says, these two idiots work for the government. Don't be stupid, man. Astro Boy and Dazza are crackerjack G-Men wannabes, LMFAO. Next. Yeah, feel free to comment on any of these guys. So, um, And this comment, you know, dickhead Dave, as much as I would love to wish you a Merry Christmas, I'd much prefer that you choke on a Kiwi, LOL. Honestly, I want you to stay right here on this earth and go through what everyone else is going to go through in the very near future. I want you to suffer like everyone else is going to and you can keep all of your little bitch baby trolls nipping at my heels because I find it amusing and I like torturing them and verbally abusing them. Well, that's pretty clear, isn't it? Now let's talk about the new years coming up 2017. I've been working on a project for a little over 10 days and this project is especially for all of you and you, your troll babies and your followers. Uh, is there anything else in that comment that's worth reading out? Uh, people can pause it and read it. I don't want to take too long on this. Um, yep, maybe the next one. Me and Steve Olson will be on live Fight for Our Freedom Radio tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. There will be a video up. Now, this one's interesting. It said, you know, uh, he invited Astronomy Live and myself along to that, and he assured me in emails that we would be treated respectfully and that we wouldn't be talked over and that it would be a fair debate. So Astronomy Live and I fronted up. And uh, what happened with that Astronomy Live? What, what did he accuse you of? Uh, Steve Olson accused you of. Uh, that I was a murdering murderer, bathed in the blood of the innocents, and I was rapidly cut off and not allowed to talk. Uh, and as it turned out, according to Bad Baby running this show, we were not supposed to be guests on the show. This invitation was false. So once again, Scott was lying about the invitation. No, well, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, so same comment. Same comment, yep. Okay, so top comment here. Hey, Mari, uh, the only time you should be humbled is when you lose 250 pounds. So once again, we see him attacking, making personal ad hominem attacks, attacking people's uh, appearance, medical conditions, and anything else he can find. Uh, second comment down, hey Astro boy, I'm going to steal some of your images and I'm going to make a big poster with your fat little face on it. I have rats in my basement, so I'll put the poster in the basement, scare the rats to death when they see one of their own. And the third comment, ha 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 ha, the video of Astro boy at the end of this video is absolutely hilarious. He looks like freaking, uh, I can't quite see the rest alpha. of that. It's hidden on alpha, the video. Alpha. Oh, sorry. Yep. Alpha Alpha from, from the, the little... Little rascals, yeah. Little rascals. Okay, bit of humor there. Uh, next one. Now, some of these are probably fairly generic now. Uh, oh, it looks like Astro Boy has a double chin like Mari. If we step through, there was a specific threat that I'll try and get to here uh, because I'm pretty much reading. It's the same old, same old. Um, unless you want to comment on any of these in, in particular. Well, he, um, you know, he. The photos he's referring to, the ones that ended up on WSO's videos, uh, some of my ash photography, which was said to be Nibiru, which obviously wasn't. And uh, actually, one of the photos came from a video where, where I was debunking Nibiru and uh, specifically showing that it was just a, a known object in the sky, uh, specifically GN05392. So anyway, that's what some of this is about when you see him talking about images where he thinks I own the sky. No, I don't own the sky, but I do own the images that I take of the sky. So. Right. Okay, so for any of those other comments, people can pause them and read them, uh, especially with when the final video is uploaded and the resolution is clearer. Um, there is a specific comment that I'm looking for that was a specific threat that we'll probably get through to shortly. And it was in that zip file where all these other images were located? Yes, I believe it was. Yep. Okay. Calling us Satanists. Yep. 
he has a big mind and a big prick. Well, I won't disagree. Well, I just on think that. he's a big prick, actually. <laughs> yeah. I think he's a big prick with a little mind. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Nibiru Planet X 2016, and once again verified that this was from his channel, and he says, "This is a comment to me under one of my videos. I can't wait to smash your fucking face." That's supposed to be in, I believe. I can't wait to smash your fucking face in, David Gregg. You're a piece of shit. You're a troublemaker. And a scum on top of that, you're a Luciferian. And we are going to out you once and for all in person, right in your little fat office in New Zealand. So there is a direct threat from Nibiru Planet X, Scott Cohn, saying that he can't wait to smash in my face. Now, this is the sort of remind, person that we're dealing with here. Just to just remind, WSO, Steve Olson, is going off about cyberbullying like it's to no end. The only people doing cyberbullying is his crew. Yeah. Yeah, you want yeah. to see what cyberbullying looks like? This is it. These are direct threats of physical violence, which he loves to make against us. So this is not what we're talking you know this is not what we're engaging in we're not threatening to come beat him up that's what he does to us so it's kind of uh, hypocritical for them to be complaining about cyberbullying when they're the ones doing it yes, absolutely <laughs> yeah okay um, should we jump back to the video oh yeah here's, here's a uh, that was an image that Scott sent me um, yeah that's from an email there oh look and it's the same it's the same email address, or it's it's the same screen name on that email address anyway, uh, yeah. from the uh, uh, the uh, criminal documents. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. What were you going to yep, say? Yep, it certainly is. So that <laughs> verifies that both ways, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It Oops. all matches up. Oops. Oops. You probably oh. should have picked a different screen name. Oh well. <laughs> all right. So I you want to resume the video? <laughs> yep. Yep. Let's play some more. Hear what he what he has to say. Yeah, knocked right on your ass. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I've never claimed to be no damn angel. I came from the school of hard knocks, the, the city streets of Pittsburgh. It's like New York City, like the Bronx and Brooklyn. I fought all my life as a kid, as a teenager. And that's probably what your problem is. You know, I've been arrested a few times. I've been in some scrapes, misdemeanors. Wow. Ooh. And you notice he left off abuser. felonies. I'm not a child abuser. But you know what the bottom line is? There ain't one of these punks that would stand up to me face to face. Not one of them. They cry like little babies behind their computer and their keyboard, and they talk a lot of junk. Isn't that? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. When is he supposed to show up at your house and start any life? Sorry, I have to switch my audio back there to talk. Um, he was supposed to be here yesterday. He was, uh, he was saying, so, and, and I, so I should he this. literally just made threats and stayed hidden behind his computer. Yeah, yeah. you know, let wow. me see if I can pull up the screenshot of the comment he sent me um, regarding that. He said in ten days, which was now eleven days ago, uh, that he was going to show up in Florida and demand I buy him, take him out to dinner with his friends. He was going to show up with his friends. Some of us other Planet X buddies, and uh, we were going to have a face-to-face -face, uh, face-off, I guess. Um, shoot, do I have it here? I don't have it here. But anyway, he was supposed to show up by yesterday, and uh, no, I haven't haven't seen him. Strangely enough, so, 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 so let's see. He's bailed on holding up to his word by going down to meet you. Um, when was he supposed to meet up with you, Daza? Um, yeah, I. I don't know that he put a specific time on it, but it's interesting, you see, because I'm in New Zealand. Uh, my understanding is, is that he wouldn't be able to enter the country with his criminal convictions. He, he wouldn't be able to leave the state. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure his passport would be rejected there if he even yeah. had a passport. But there's a point that I'd like to address here. You, you, you've just heard him making these these veiled threats of, of violence here, and, and we read the the earlier comments where he actually said that he couldn't wait to smash in my face. Now, the difference between intellectuals and knuckle-dragging Neanderthals like this guy is, 
is that thinkers use their brains, their minds, their intellect. And these knuckle draggers use their fists because that's all they know, right? Yeah. Now, I think that this really sums up the sort of person that we're dealing with, is that he does not know how to use critical thinking and and reason and so on to sort things out. The only way that he really knows to sort something out in, in his mind is to use his fists. That's the ultimate solution. Um, well, that might be the world that you live in, Scott Cohn, uh, but that's not the world that I live in. You know, it, so much of this is just us playing his words back to him. What have we been doing here? Yeah. We've been looking at his own comments here. And so, you know, they're throwing a hissy fit about this. And, uh, you know, Chris Potter's been threatening to sue us. And I think Mrs. Red said uh, he's going, uh, Potter's going to sue. I don't know if he said something in the hangout uh, that they had tonight. I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, this is him just doing it to himself. That This is just bring him bringing all of this on himself because he can't resist resorting to physical threats of violence and going after people like this, playing keyboard warrior. That's exactly yeah. what this is. We're not the ones saying, oh, we're going to come beat you up unless you stop debunking us. We're going to come beat you up unless you stop disagreeing with us. That's not the tactics we use. We're just we're just presenting well, the truth and doing our analysis. In in his eyes, when we say we're going to destroy your claims, he takes that as a threat of violence, I guess. <laughs> yeah, who, I, who knows what's going on in his head? Who knows? You know, But he seems yeah. to think that uh, somehow you're, you're a better individual and you're – uh, closer to the truth if you can physically stand up to a confrontation with him and take the beating he wants to give you. Might makes right and might makes intelligent? I don't know. That's really weird logic there. I don't get that. I, I, I think Muhammad, Muhammad Ali would have a dispute for that too. <laughs> uh, I must apologize too. I've just been corrected. Neanderthals didn't drag their knuckles. Yes, I should know that, but I guess people know what I'm saying there. <laughs> we'll, we'll chalk it up as metaphor. <laughs> um, now, I guess the easy easy thing uh, for Scott Cohn would be, uh, you know, if, if he stopped telling lies about us, we then would, wouldn't have to keep telling the truth about him, would we? Well, here, here's the point. He's dug himself such a huge hole that just stopping telling lies isn't enough for me. He needs to start po tossing out apologies for lying. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But because instead, he's, he's, he's declaring... He's declared outright war on me with that whole tranny bullshit. Yep. And I'm not going to back down from it. I'm going to expose everything I possibly can. Now, you guys like to do the sciencey stuff. I just like to expose where he lies. That's the difference between you and me. You know, I can do the sciencey stuff. You guys are far better at it than me, especially starting me live. He's got that stuff down pat. I just expose where he just proves that he's lying by himself. And I point it out yeah. and make it very front stage. Yeah. Yeah. And he has no no argument for that, no comeback for that, except to just, you know, threaten to beat you up and insult you, uh, you know, insult you based on your medical condition, which is disgusting and absurd. But the thing is, you know, to a certain section of his followers, that's a rallying cry. It's, oh, it's groupthink. It's, I'm part of his pack. I'm part of his herd. Let's go get the other guys because we don't like them. We don't like what they're saying. We think they're shills. We think they're government agents. Let's go beat them up, you know. And so they won't. They won't even look at the other side. They will just watch his videos. And so that's why you know our videos don't have as many views and never will, uh, because he's got a certain percentage of people in his pocket essentially, and uh, you know they will continue to support him. Now I think as this goes on more and more, people are probably some people are going to start to wake up and start to see him for what he really is. And I think that process has already begun. Um, but yeah, he'll always have a following that, that is a cult of personality sort of, and will just go to bat for him no matter what he says, because well, they are utterly convinced that Nibiru is going to be here next week. And this you, guy's going to save them. You, you kind of hit the nail on the head that his people are starting to notice that he's full of crap. Now, when you guys make your videos, you know, he can word salad his way around all that. You, you know, he can just either just defame your character, which isn't going to work on me because I accept my condition. Um, but he either defames your character, makes up a bunch of new crap to try to cover up his old crap, mm -hmm. and then just tries to twist the story so it looks like you guys are wrong. 
even though that's not he doesn't succeed, but that his followers don't understand what's going on, so they just follow along with it. But when I made my video about how he's disabled comments on just the specific videos that I covered, um, at that point it was just those videos. The next day he had to disable comments on all of his videos. Now that was partly because of my video. It was partly because of um, Logan Runnin exposing <coughs> his record because everybody started asking him about all these things. So he had to shut down his entire comment threads. So he knows he's busted. He's preventing comments from coming out so his new subscribers won't notice it. Uh -huh. But his current subscribers, he's probably, you know, he's lost the faith of a lot of them by his own hand. And he yeah. doesn't understand that it's his own fault. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yep, he's absolutely brought all of this on himself through his own attitude, his threats, his abuse, everything that he's done. He, you know, he's brought it upon himself. Yep, absolutely. Should we continue playing the video? <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're only five minutes into it. Jeez. <laughs> Any day. You want to come visit me? Not Bring really. it. <laughs> we'll take off the gloves. We'll go at it a few rounds in the yard. I got scars all over me, man. Stop, 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 stop. Now, if you paid attention to that whole statement right there, he immediately resorted to a violent act if you decided to go in, even if it was just to have a discussion with him to try to, you know, meet eye to eye to try to figure out where the common ground was. He immediately resorts to violence. This is the person we're dealing with. Yeah. Any other option doesn't exist except for violence to this guy. Is it is it really any surprise to anyone at this point that he's got a criminal record a mile long, a lot of mm. which has to do with assault? Is that really shocking? It's not shocking to me. It fits ex perfectly with his personality. I wouldn't expect anything different from viewing this video. So it's no, really not shocking that we find this out about him. Well, I just like to point out the obvious that you know some people might not pick up on that he's doing this himself. And just yeah. his his little followers just ignore it and gloss it over. But I make sure I point it out, put it front and center so they can't ignore it. He only believes in violence to resolve anything. Yep. All right. Let's continue. I'm not afraid. Not afraid to die. I'm definitely not afraid of any of you nutcases. <laughs> Leave my people That's rich. on my channel the hell alone. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, you have my blessing to rip these people to shreds when you see them in the comment section. I want you to report them to YouTube for their slanderous remarks and their harassment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, doing uh, that is actually directly against YouTube policy. Yeah, but not only that, I was just going to say, wait, hang on, hang on, we've got a problem here. Com rip, rip them to shreds in the comments under his videos. What comments would those be? The comments, <laughs> the, the, the comments the, the that disabled he's disabled. Ones? Yeah. How does anyone comment under his videos when he's disabled them? And why has he disabled the comments under his videos? Because he doesn't want the truth to be presented to his subscribers under his videos. Because that affects his views when people know that he is presenting you know the moon passing in front of stereo and claiming that it's a planetary object or lens flares or whatever he doesn't want his viewers and subscribers to see those comments so he's blocked them and of course all this heat that he's taken now over his record and being called out for all the things that he's done he doesn't want people to see these things so he's turned the comments off so, you know, I'd like to see how that works, Scott Cohn, when you've turned the comments off. That's just not going to happen. Well, the, the funniest thing is with the new YouTube algorithm, comments are a driving force for your putting you on a suggested feed. Mm -hmm. So him, this yeah. is exactly a plus. He disables comments. He doesn't get the comments um, activity that he, had, that he used to get. And it actually hurts his income even further. Just yeah, saying. that's... Yeah, no, that's that's true. I mean, engagement yeah. is a huge factor in the new YouTube algorithm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I, I think, you know, some of my videos that have gone viral recently have gone viral specifically because there were a ton of people commenting. And sure, not everyone agreed with my analysis, but people were talking about it. And, you know, it was generating a ton of comments and that just kept driving the views and the views kept going, you know, and that's. And, and here's another little secret about the YouTube algorithm now. This is why I said that I don't thumb down videos very often because thumbs downs don't mean anything for the YouTube algorithm anymore. Neither do thumb ups. The thumb hmm. system is just for the viewers to, to get a feel of how popular the video is. It does nothing for how it gets put on recommended feeds. It's based on views, retention time, and engagement. Period. And I think, it, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's also driven in part, in large part, by uh, whether or not the video creates a viewing session where they continue to go on and watch other videos on YouTube. I, I cannot um, verify or deny that. I don't know. I just know the okay. I just know certain aspects that do directly affect how your video gets spread out there. And engagement is a huge part. So for him to disable comments, he's taken a hit in the wallet by choice. Right. I, I think I could be wrong. It's one, one of the things I've heard anyway is that uh, the new YouTube algorithm is based uh, in part on whether or not your video is good at creating a viewing session. So this is the way I think a lot of channels like his uh, do succeed is that he's able to pump out a lot of content in a week. It's video after video after video. And so right after you're done watching one video, if you're a fan of his channel, you may very well go on and watch the next video. And it's, you know, just another now, five minutes or so. That, that brings up another point of something he, he said in, earlier in the video about Daza not having a job. I don't think he does either. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, the, so to this... so to paraphrase to paraphrase Scott, and I'm sorry, but you've already used a lot of cussing in this because you were quoting. But I'm going to yeah. paraphrase him. I think he's sitting at home, jacking off, making videos all day long. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how he pumps out so many videos in a week or even a day. It's incredible. I, there are days yeah. he pumps out like nine videos. Lately, it's been really, really sparse because he's trying to get into damage control and he's trying to hide out as much as he can because he's busted. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. I'm lucky if I'm lucky if I get out more than one video a week. I'm lucky if I get out a video a week sometimes. Uh, yeah. You know, I've got a job. I've got a life outside of YouTube. I don't have time to sit here, you know, doing this every day like he does, pumping out video after video. And so my channel is never going to be as popular as his because I, I can't generate 10 five minute videos in a week and have people just watch them back to back. If I did that, I probably would have a lot more views. But anyway. I mean, right, right now, just to just to put it on, into perspective, I've got like 16 videos that I've already got planned out to do, and I don't know where to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I I would love to make a lot more videos than I do. I have all sorts of ideas in my head about videos that I want to make. There's many many videos that I've planned to make in the past that I've just never got around to because I didn't have the the energy basically this comes down to my chronic fatigue I'm very motivated I'm not hold lazy on. oh hold on hold on I, I, I just read a very very funny comment in their stream a guy named Corey yeah. Scott says you all don't need trolls to take each other down you guys have each other <laughs> hmm. that is the best comment I've seen in that co in that stream so far yeah so, you know, if, if I had the, the energy, I'd be making a lot more videos than I do. Um, but the, then if I had a lot more energy, I would, I would be working full time. Um, but Scott Cohn has obviously made this a full time job to be producing these videos all day long. As you say, he turns out several videos a day. He's boasted that his YouTube income, I remember he said for one month was $4,950. Well, I'll tell you what. I wish I was on that sort of money myself, but I'm not. And I'm very restricted by my chronic fatigue and the amount of stuff that I can do. This is a hangout, so it's easier. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to be paying for it later. But yeah, to him, it is a full job, a full time job. And I think that your little paraphrase there, Sean, was quite correct. That is exactly what he's doing. Yeah. All right, should we finish up this video? I think we've only got like uh, 30 seconds of it left here. Yep, let's nail it. Great hangout tonight, starting at 9 o'clock. Me and Wayne Steiger, Steve Olson, Chris Potter. We have a special guest, Jeff P. Stop. So make sure you guys all... Yep, just so he's just doing a promo for us hangout. hangout. 
just just to point out while he's doing the promo for his hangout, he they actually came by this hangout, left a few comments. You know, WSO went spam crazy on it. Um, and you just heard him say that it was supposed to start at nine. We started this one at eight just to just to um, actually address some of the points in this video before they did their hangout. They actually started their hangout a half hour early to try to nip us in the bud because they didn't want other people from their channel coming over and seeing this. They had to start their hangout so they could, you know, keep their fan base. Yeah. That's okay. People can watch the rest of this. Uh, it's It'll be uploaded as pre-recorded later on, and people can catch up on it later. People are in different time zones as well, and some people are working, some people are available, some people aren't. So, uh, you know, it's going to be on YouTube for all to see at their leisure. Oh, look at that. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, what a, boys, what a boys. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. If only he was in one of those episodes, that, that would be great. But no. No, but we do have his mugshot here. He, uh, he's he got the, uh, the orange threads on, and they are quite smashing on him. Very good look for him. They really suit him, actually, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he wears them All like right. a pro. <laughs> well, there we have it. I think we've um, done a pretty good summary of uh, what we're dealing with here, the sort of character that we're dealing with, the threats, the abuse, the character assassination, uh, when all we are doing is presenting the, the, the truth, presenting the facts. Um, he does have a long list of criminal convictions. Uh, do we want to pull up that PDF again for anyone else that's joining us? Now, sure. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. If I, I'm six foot four, and if I printed that sheet out, it would be taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Okay, hang on one second. Let me pull up the other. Here we go. This. Scott A. Cone, Florida, neglecting a child. Child abuse. Now, in all fairness, I do believe on that whole rap sheet that that is his worst offense, which is absolutely despicable just by itself. And I think but he's going to try, and I could be wrong. I mean, I haven't seen the latest hangout, but I think this is probably going to be the one thing he tries the hardest to distance himself from and say, well, that one wasn't me. The others, yeah, some of the others are me because I beat up people because I'm a badass. But this one, I think, by any objective measure, anyone would look at this and say that doesn't make you a badass that makes you a jerk and a scumbag so you know i think he's going to try to keep away from that particular conviction but some of the others yeah he'll probably own up to and just for one one more look see here miami day county criminal justice system uh there he is scott allen cone uh with the probation for uh that particular charge child abuse and battery. So there you go. Currently in collections. Uh, maybe if he uh, gets some more subscribers, he can pay off his actual debts to society. Yeah. Um, and just to clarify, I've actually searched for Scott Cohen's all across the country. There are like six, but they don't. You there's only like one other that shares the middle initial, and he does not live anywhere on the East Coast. Never has. And we've also. We've also got his date of birth here, too, in 1968. So, yeah, that matches up with a 49-year-old Scott Cohn. Oh, yeah, the other one um, is like 62 or something like that. Um, there is a Scott M. Cohn that has a criminal record in Florida, but he is older than our Scott Cohn. Um, and I'm sorry, that's Scott Cohn's that has the criminal record. Scott mm -hmm. M. Cohn's. So here, one more time, uh, uh, we have... Uh, Somebody asked in the chat if we have the link for the uh, active warrant, and that's right here. This is at co.fayette.pa.us forward slash court admin forward slash documents forward slash um, criminal person. Go ahead and go ahead and copy that link into the chat okay. or into the sidebar over here. Yep. yep. I'm dropping in the chat there. Oh, I can't. I can't do the web address. All right. I'll drop it into the side I chat. I can. Okay. <laughs> I, I dropped it in the side chat there so you can copy it. Copy link address. Paste link address. Dink. There you go, chat. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. So there you go. 
outstanding warrant. And this, again, this was updated today at 4 p.m., so this is current. And that's and, on uh, page 13 and 14 of that PDF. And, and the downside, the only downside about a bench warrant, which is why the whole um, pipe bomb is crap, is the police can't go to his house to pick him up for a bench warrant. That's not how they work. They actually have to find him doing something wrong, and they actually have to run a warrant check on him. Mm -hmm. That's the downside about him having a warrant for this long. He just hasn't had a run-in with the police since the warrant's been active. Yep. It's a matter of time with his record, though. It'll happen. Yep. And uh, somebody posted the link to his uh, probation officer or par parole officer, was it? Uh, which one? I think it's his probation officer. Probation, probation I think, officer. yeah. Um, so I intend to get in contact with his probation officer and send through the screenshots of the threats of violence that he has made against me and against other people and uh, see where that goes. Yep, sounds good. And I think the reason why he's trying to hide from this warrant so much is because he's done so many parole violations, I think he's on his last leg. He's going away for a long time if he gets busted. Oh, wouldn't yeah, that be a shame? I mean, it, to me, it's it's kind of disgusting and and uh, disturbing that he got off with probation for child for that child abuse uh, uh, charge. There, I mean, honestly, he should have served some hard time for that. I think I, I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just a uh, an old fogey, but I, I believe in harsh sentences for child abuse. Well, I, I've actually requested the um, the citation for that court. Mm hmm. Um, to see exactly how he got it talked down to probation, but I'm mm. pretty sure there was a plea bargain in there. Oh yeah, okay. I, that's just oh, my speculation. Boy. I've actually I've actually requested the um, court dictation, and when I get that, I'll read it over and find out exactly what happened. But that could take up to ten days to get. All right. Well, maybe we'll come back in a few days with an update video on that. Yep, we'll follow up. You know, as I, I always say, that we are about presenting the facts. We're about uh, being transparent, um, backing up everything that we say, and that's exactly what we do. So we'll, we will follow up with any new information that, that we can present to prove any of these claims further than we've already proved them with the documents. We'll yeah, be happy to that do case, that. That case really bugs me, the fact that he got off with probation for that, for that offense. And I, I'm yeah. really curious as to exactly how he managed to pull that off. Because it just doesn't make sense. I can't. I can't see a Florida court just willy nilly just say, "Okay, you just you just beat the hell out of this kid." Okay, um, you get probation. Because here in Indiana, when that happens, you're done. There is no probation. There is no slap on the wrist. CPS here is extremely dictatorship. <laughs> well, this is Florida, and crazy things happen, especially in Miami. I mean, who knows? I guess we'll find out more soon. Yeah. And I say that as a Floridian, by the way. I'm not trying to just insult Floridians. I'm one of them, born and raised. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, conspiracy confirmed. You are an idiot. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Floridian. <laughs> That's me. All right. Okay. Well, well, I think we're about ready to uh, wind this up. Uh, just a summary. Once again, I would my message to Scott Cohn is uh, that, hey, buddy, um, you know, we we tried to che treat you very fairly right from the get-go. You were invited into our live hangout to present your side of the story, which you did. Uh, you said that we treated you like gentlemen. Everybody seemed to go away very happy, and then you declared war on Astronomy Live. And Actually, started I do have to point one thing out about that hangout. I yeah. was in that hangout. Yeah, I, I was just there for technical support. I said nothing bad at all to you, Scott. Nothing. I was actually quite polite, and you know, I actually helped talk everybody through certain things here and there. But no, I made no nothing aggressive towards you. And yet, you're trying to say that I that everybody treated you with disrespect. I invite you to rewatch that hangout and point out where people are rude, crude, vile. And you won't do it because you're lying. There's nothing left to say. 
Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Yep. So, Scott Cohn, you, you've brought this upon yourself, all of this unpleasantness, and uh, this is the result of your own actions. The, these are the consequences. Um, so, you know, you've got your choices. Um, I said to you in private emails that you have no conscience and you have no moral compass. You came back and you boasted to me that, that you were not ashamed of anything in your past and you said that you were one bad mofo, right? Now, we've seen the, the details of your past offending, including uh, child neglect, abuse, and... Um, you know, if, if you're proud of that sort of past, well, you know, I just don't know what to say about that. But you have an opportunity here. You're at a fork in the road, and you've got the choice of where to go from here. You know, you can either front up and acknowledge that, that you have lied, which you have, and there's no doubt about that, or you can continue on with your lies, and we'll be happy to continue on debunking you and your lies if that's the case, and calling you out at every turn. We're not going to go away. I know that you would like us to go away, but that's not going to happen. No. So and maybe the not... easiest thing, yeah, maybe the easiest thing would be for for you just to front up, admit that you are wrong, acknowledge your mistakes, and apologise sincerely, and then maybe we can all move on. And how about quit quitting with fear mongering because it's all lies and nonsense. Astronomy Life? Uh, I was just gonna, sorry, I was just going to say, we're not going to be you know, intimidated away by threats of physical violence. Maybe he thinks he can silence us or get us to go away if he just threatens us enough, but that's that's not going to happen. First of all, uh, Daza actually is in New Zealand. He's not in the United States. You can't get to New Zealand with that criminal record, so that's not going to happen. I'm in Florida. I can defend myself, and I'll, I'll do so if I have to, but I'm not going to make threats of physical violence against you. I'll let you continue to do that to me, but... Uh, I'm not going to be intimidated away. I'm not going to be retreating off YouTube or closing my channel because you threatened to attack me or kill me. Well said. Okay, anything else to say, Sean? Oh, just that people really need to study up on their legalese, and that is actually a language. Um, yeah. A lot of bad legalese has been spread around in the last day, mainly by WSO. He doesn't understand what defamation means. He doesn't understand what libel means. He doesn't understand what um, slander means. He thinks that that all falls under cyberbullying, but it only does when it follows the definition of the offense. Since we are posting out truthful information, it doesn't fall under any of them. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as Scott goes, I don't think I'll back off until I actually get an apology for his literal defamation of character until then i'm going to point out every video where he outright lies and i will show how he's lying and the proof that he's lying i will not back off not for threats of violence not for threats of legal action where you have no grounds because i'll be posting factual information not making stuff up as i go like some people we know scott but other than that, the ball's in his court. If he wants to keep this going, I'm more than happy to. If he wants to have me back off, well, that's going to take some doing. I'm done. <laughs> Just reading in the comment. Apparently, uh, Scott is now talking about my serial video. <laughs> <laughs> back on that again? Oh, he's really dis. Oh, if, now, if that's the, if that's the is, best that he's got to throw at me, because I I did a, a video pointing out how the uh, manufacturer was ripping off their uh, their customers by uh, putting less cereal in a larger box. <laughs> I find that hilarious. Thank now, you. Does he understand the term chomping at the bit? Does he understand <laughs> the grinding the stone? Yeah. <laughs> Beating the dead horse. <laughs> All of these apply. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we'll wrap this up. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining us, watching the live hangout. Thank you for all the comments in the chat. Uh, thank you, Sean Hufford and Astronomy Live for joining us. And uh, until next time, this is Dazza the Cameraman, and thank you for watching.